what a joy that we're going to share today about Our Lady Queen of Peace, who asks us, as she did in Fatima, as she did in Lourdes, as she did throughout all these millenniums, to pray, but especially to pray her Most Holy Rosary. We know, all of us know, the promises that are given by her at the apparition of Fatima, at the apparition of Lourdes, for those who pray the Rosary, the great indulgences that are given, the great concessions for the salvation within our own family, for our own salvation, her promise of her presence with us, the promises that are beyond words she gives to us for praying the rosary. But what is the prayer of the rosary? I think that for me, especially Pope John Paul II, Saint John Paul II's apostolic writer on the rosary, reveals how important that beautiful prayer is. Saint Louis de Montfort, the love for the rosary, the rosary, the bouquet of roses presented to Mary that she can present them to the Most High, that the world can change, that we can change, that we can all receive the grace from God. And there is a beautiful way. When we came here first, we would go into central Bosnia. It was the war time in 1993. And we would see the children gather around when we would bring the supplies. And they wanted to pray the rosary. And they always prayed it in the way that we never knew. And that's called the Jerusalem way of praying it. That means in between the, the each Hail Mary, at the word Jesus, they would mention where Jesus is, to be reminded what meditation is. It's not just a matter of reciting prayers. Our Lady clearly said, my dear children, when you speak to each other, you know what you are saying. When you speak to me and my son, know what you are saying. So it is now that in a very special way, when we think about the rosary, it's a matter of meditating the mysteries, meditating on the life of Jesus and Mary, that we can then imitate their life in our life. What did they do in their joy? What did they do in their sorrow? How did they react in the glory? What awaits us? And the Jerusalem way of praying the rosary, that also Pope John Paul II, or Saint John Paul II, mentions is that every time that in the heart of the Hail Mary where is the word Jesus, we stop for a moment, stop for a moment and ask, where is Jesus now? Where is Mary now? That we can be with them and that they can be with us in our current situation where we are, in our joys, in our sorrows, in our light, in our glory. And that is so beautiful because the children would always pause for a moment after the word Jesus, because that's how their grandmothers taught them. And we remember that Our Lady said here, I've come here, chosen this place because of the faith of the people. For over five centuries, the Ottoman oppression, communist oppression, inability to be able to even have the Bible, but the faith survived. Our Lady has mentioned the rosary hundreds of times over the 39 years. Our Lady said the rosary alone is the most powerful prayer we can have. And when you think about what Our Lady is asking for us with the rosary, you think the Mother of God wants to give us the most she can. She says, my rosary is a joyful, sorrowful, and glorious mystery. We've been on the mountain very late at night with Vizca on, on, on the cross mountain and it's wet and it's raining and it's difficult and the lady appeared to Vizca and at the end our lady said tonight before you go to bed I'd like you to pray the glorious mysteries in front of the crucifix mm. now we're here it's midnight and we're soaking wet and we have to come down the mountain but that's what our lady asked for and she's asked for that many times not just once She's asked for that many times. Pray the joyful, pray the glorious, pray the sorrowful mysteries in front of the crucifix before you go to bed tonight. That's a mother asking us. She's a real mother. Our Lady's not some, something here that's magic. Our Lady is a real person. And she's saying, please, I want that. I need that rosary mm -hmm. from you tonight. Please, on your knees in front of the crucifix before you go to bed. That's and I remember when Father Slavko heard that, he said, isn't she a great teacher? She says, she asked us to pray the glorious mysteries in front of the cross, yeah. that we may know that the cross is not the end, 
but that the glory of the resurrection is the fruit of being able to pick up our cross and carry it as Jesus did, offer it as he did, embrace it as he did. When we pray the rosary together as a family here, which we do, it brings us together. Mm. It brings us together in a way it's rosary time, five o'clock rosary time. And now everything's difficult because of the virus and things are closed, but that doesn't stop us praying the rosary. We still have the rosary in our house every day together. And it's the thing we look forward to with all our family that's here at the castle. We pray the rosary every day and it's hope. It's hope. It's the most hope we have because we're doing something Our Lady asked us to do and our rosary is going to stop a war. And that's what we're trying to do, stop this war, this virus. We can't do it ourselves. It's not possible. We can do nothing on our own, but Jesus can. And Our Lady said, you pray the rosary, you can stop wars and stop natural disasters. disasters. So this is what we do. This is our life. It's and how many times when we would be in a fierce argument, fierce, we could not see eye to eye. If Nancy's not right, if Nancy's not correct, if I'm arguing with Nancy because I want to do it my way, mm -hmm. stop. Let's pray one decade of the rosary. Mm -hmm. You know what happens? By the time <laughs> you get to the tenth Hail Mary, you can't remember why you were arguing. <laughs> and we've only been together 36 years. 36 years. But the rosary is our way of life. Our mm -hmm. rosary is something that keeps us together. Keeps the love growing in a marriage keeps the love in a way that's special, keeps the love in, a, in, in, in what a marriage is supposed to be. This is our secret to the marriage. This works. I'm telling you, this works in our hands every day. Because when we pray this rosary together, our love is together. The marriage is focused. We have something that we do together every day, and that love grows and grows and grows. And it's only through the rosary. Mm. That's what we do the best. And Our Lady says, ask for the grace to be able to live my messages. So now we ask her for the grace to be able to fall in love with her rosary, to be able to pray it, meditating upon it, contemplating the great mystery of her life and the life of Jesus, that we may live as they lived, love as they loved, think as they thought, and die as they died. The few little miracles we've seen, you know, we, we've seen things happen from the use from praying the rosary, one of the guys who we worked with during the war, uh, who was Episcopalian, and he'd never prayed a rosary. He'd never even been inside a Catholic church. But he was our commander, sort of, for our little humanitarian organization, because he had some military experience. And we start to pray the rosary, and we start to pray the rosary, and the UN guys asked us, do we have a weapon? And we said, yes, we have a weapon. This is our <laughs> weapon. They said, you're crazy, you're in a war zone. You, you need a flak jacket, you need guns. We don't have a gun, we don't have flak jackets, we don't have helmets. We have a rosary. And what happened? Today he's a Catholic priest. Mm -hmm. With the Great Friars. Catholic priest. That's what happened. And that's what Our Lady does. She shows us, she shows us the value of the rosary. She shows you, you can see a miracle in your life. She shows us what to do. And all we have to do is say yes. Mm -hmm. And it's, that's all we have to do is follow the mothers. She's teaching us. She's our teacher. She's a mother. And we love her. And we say, Mother, please teach us to pray. Amen. St. Joseph, as a little flower saint that has prayed, teach us to pray. St. Joseph, all the saints, all the holy angels, pray with us. Help us that every rosary may truly be a gift in Our Lady's arms, offered to the Father for our salvation, for the glory of God, and for the salvation of the world. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.